Okay, now looking at um, some triangle area theorems, um, I'm not going to go into the proof for the area of a triangle, we're just going to I suppose assume it, um, there is a proof, so it's not that we're assuming it the same way that we're assuming that the uh, co-interior angles are supplementary, but we are assuming that the area of a triangle is half the base times the perpendicular height. Okay. Basically what we mean by that is that um, if I have a triangle, I'm just going to draw a few triangles so that you can see. Um, I'm going to choose one of the sides as my base. Okay, so imagine uh, this is my base there. So if I talk about the half the base, it's half of that side. Um, the perpendicular height is how high is the other vertex we call the corners of a triangle vertices okay how high is the other vertex above the the floor that this base is standing on okay so if I draw this a little bit different okay I can maybe have a triangle like this Okay, there's a triangle. So I've chosen this one to be my base. This one here is my base. And now if I ask what the perpendicular height is, I just need to extend my floor a little bit because this is the perpendicular height. Okay, it's so how high is this vertex above the floor that this one is standing on? Does that make sense? Yeah, I can't think of another way to draw this, uh, so I'm going to leave it there. But um, the next theorem will also illustrate illustrate this quite well. Okay, the theorem says that. triangles um, that share a base between parallel lines will have the same area okay so if I basically what we mean is that if we have two parallel lines well parallel lines or two parallel we have parallel lines and we draw a triangle between them like that and another triangle that shares a base so that's the first thing they share a base and they are between the parallel lines so this one maybe goes up there to there and these two triangles will have the same area as a matter of fact this might look odd. What we mean by having the same area is that if I use paint to color this one, I will use the exact same amount of paint to color that. Okay, and if I draw another one here, look at this one. This is an odd looking one all the way there. Okay, but it has the same base. Okay, and it's still 
between these parallel lines. You see this triangle? Very odd looking one. Okay, skewed one. But the amount of paint it will use to paint this one, or the area of this one, will be the same as the area of the others. Can you guys maybe, without even looking into the proof, can you tell me why? It's, it's a very straightforward thing. And it follows directly from the definition of, of area. Why would all of them have the same... Well done, they share the same height. Why do they share the same height? Exactly, that's what we just proved. That's why I just proved that one. It isn't even part of the course really. I just first had to show you that that's true. So they have the same perpendicular height, okay, and they share the same base. Okay, so the area to, to prove this, if I have A, B, C, D, okay, I'm going to start by saying let the perpen or let H be the perpendicular distance. between line A, D and B, C. We know that A, D and B, C are parallel. And we know from our previous theorem that the distance between this is everywhere the same. So I'm just going to say let that distance be a certain value. So I'm choosing this funny perpendicular H to be that distance. And now to prove it is so simple that area of A, B, C is equal to a half B, C perpendicular height. And the area of D, B, C is also equal to a half B, C times perpendicular height. So we see the same thing happening here. We have the same formula for two different areas, which means that those two different areas are in fact equal. Does that make sense? Okay, so pretty soon we're going to step this up quite a few notches. Okay, um, it's going to get a little bit difficult very soon.